Hey there, just a quick run through the uh, dual servo Arduino code. So, we have two servos. Um, there we have our Y and there's X. Being controlled by Y and X. Um, all the code for this I'll put in the comments. It's really simple stuff. There's nothing too difficult here. It's all stuff that's in the standard examples that come with the Arduino, just patched together. So, first thing to go through very quickly is the setup of the servos here. Terrible lighting. Um, a little bit awkward to see, but we have the yellow and red are hooked into the 5 volt and the ground and the blue and the white are analog pins 0 and 1 so on any of the servos you've got your black, red and white, white is data, the other two are your your live and your your ground so we stick red and black through to the 5 volt on the ground on both of these. We're just using the breadboard to keep them tied together. And the white pin on each of them. So white there, feeding into white here. This one is going to pin 1, analog pin 1 on the Arduino, which is where it's getting its data feed, which is what we use to set the rotational value. So. Um, what have we got on the servos themselves? First of all, include servo as a good starting point. Then we're going to set up two servos, one called Y servo, the other called X servo. And we set some initial values for these just to zero. In our setup loop, X servo we attach to 14, which is analog pin 0, the Y servo, servo we attach to 15, which is analog pin 1. Um, and then we just begin serial communication, then we've got our data rate in there. Serial, print line rolling, that's just a little bit of debug information that we're feeding back across to say we've got through setup successfully. So, void loop, this is our main piece of code, it is straight out of the examples really. Um, we set up a static int. So that is V, this is the value we're going to send to a servo and then into our if statement, if serial is available, just make sure we check that first of all that we're able to do a serial and um, pass serial communications car CH, so we're setting up a single character CH which is reading in one character at a time from serial input then we've got our switch statement based on the value of CH and um, obviously I've commented commented various scenarios throughout the code so you'll be able to grab that out of the comments and have a look. So first of all is it a numeric digit? If it is numeric we run this little calculation where we set V and that's this static int V is equal to V multiplied by 10 and then we add on that CH minus 0 and that's explained, as I say, in this comment here, where we run through an example of if it's 45x that we receive over the serial, which we'll look at in a minute when we look at the processing sketch. After we've done our bit with the actual value that's being sent, we may get sent, for example here, 45x. If it's x, then we're writing to the x servo. If it were y, then we'd be writing to the y servo. We just write the value of v that's been sent through, and then we reset v to 0, and then we're back out through that loop again. So, that's what's happening on the Arduino. On the processing side, this is the finished product. That is a 360 by 360 pixel grey box with a couple of, couple of coloured bars on there that match up to the mouse position. So, we import serial from processing. Uh, we set an X position and a Y position at 90 servos. Obviously rotate through 180 degrees. We're setting 90, which is the midpoint between 0 and 180. And then we're setting up a serial port. So, 
run through setup, the first thing we do is we set a size for our processing sketch which is 360 by 360. Um, remembering that servos go through 180 degrees when they turn, if we set up a width and height of 360 it's straightforward enough to divide that by 2 and that gives us a value for the mouse which is somewhere between 0 and 180. Uh, set our frame rate to 100, nice and fast. Print line serial dot list. So we're spitting out a list of all the COM ports that are available on the system that you're running the processing sketch on. Um, and then after that, we're hard coding it on this line here. Port, which we declared earlier, new serial port, is a new serial, this serial list 1. So therefore I'm using the second one, in my case, COM2 and again setting the speed which matches up with the speed that we set up on our sketch over here Oop. somewhere 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 there we go zero begin 19 200 19 200 our draw loop fill 175 which is that murky grey colour that we're seeing then a rectangle of 00, zero 360 by 360 so starting at 0, 0, ending at 360 by 360, we're going to draw 175, which is that grey colour. Setting our fill to red, remembering we're using RGB, so red, green and blue, each moving up to 255. So that's full red, no green, no blue, and we're drawing a rectangle positioned at 180 pixels across, so X coordinate first. 175 from the top and then we're giving it a on the fourth argument here a height of 10 so it's going to go from 175 to 185 and then the length of this box that we're making um, we know it's got a height of 10 its width is the mouse's x position minus 180 which allows us then to you know, grow it left or grow it right as the mouse moves. Then we just repeat that same idea of setting up a green bar for the y-axis and doing the same idea, this time setting a width of 10, 175 from the left, 180 down, and the mouse's y position minus 180 again to get that moving up and down. Then we're calling a function update mouse x mouse y. Our update function receives two integers, obviously mouse x and mouse y, we calculate the servo position for mouse X and Y, bad comment. So our X position is the X position of the mouse, which is in the region of 0 to 360, and we divide that by 2. And the same for the Y, it's the Y value divided by 2. Um, and then port dot write, X pos plus X, and port dot write, Y pos plus Y. So we write out the X position between 0 and 180, followed by X, and then we write the Y position uh, 0 to 180 followed by Y, which, as you'll remember, over here we'll be sending through, for example, 4, 5, X. So 4 gets caught in this part of the switch statement, and the 5 gets caught in this part, and then X, down below, case X, means that we write the 4 and the 5, or 45, to V, and V then gets written to servo X, then we reset V to zero and break out of that switch statement there, taking us back into the main loop. And that is, in a nutshell, how you set up two servos running at the same time, one for mouse X, one for mouse Y, on the Arduino. Simple stuff. It's all in the examples that come with the Arduino. Um, when you install the IDE and I'll put all the source code for it in the, the bit below the comments. Okay, cheers.